Welcome in to Drew's Daily Diamond for Tuesday, September 17th, 2024. I am Drew Martin breaking down the slate of games. We got five MLB games coming your way. So let me know in the comments below what your MLB picks are for today, where you agree, where you disagree. All is welcome. It helps out the algorithm, guys. Smash that like button if you're liking the content. As we got first game up here, 640 Eastern time. It's the Cleveland Guardians and the Minnesota Twins. AL Central battle here with Gavin Williams going for the Guardian Zebby Matthews for the Twins. Eight and a hook being the total. We are seeing Cleveland minus 120 home favorites. I think this number's short. This is a Cleveland team. What, 22 games over 500 plus 12 units on the season, 45 and 27 at home. And they're up against the Twins. Yes, nine games over 500, but minus 11 units on the season. Like we talked about yesterday in game one of this series. I like to pay attention to how teams are being priced. And Cleveland is still being underpriced, whereas the Twins, a little bit overpriced. If you go by their full season numbers, they got Zebby Matthews on the hill, 24-year-old out of Western Carolina. He's got a 7-11 ERA, 6 FIP, 37 hits, and 25 innings in the show. Uh, I think the Cleveland Bats are going to get to him, guys. And he's up against Gavin Williams here for Cleveland, the 25-year-old out of East Carolina. So, Battle of Directional Carolina Schools. He's been up and down, um, some good, some bad. He did have a velocity drop, a little bit worried about that. He was throwing about 95 miles per hour last time out. And he's a guy that will touch 98, you know, 97, 98. So not sure if that's just a one-game blip, but something to watch there. His last time against the Twins, he went six innings, one earned run given up, so a great start there. I think uh, this Cleveland side overall, guys, I think we get the better bullpen and minus 120, 20 cents is short, guys. We're on Cleveland listing Gavin Williams as the starter over the Twins to start us off. Also got another 640 Eastern start here heading to the Queen City, Cincinnati, the Reds hosting the Atlanta Braves. Brandon Williamson, the listed pitcher here for the Reds. And not seeing a side or a total, but do have some things here I want to throw out because we have an undecided pitcher for the Braves. It's Brandon Williamson. He's a guy that uh, bet on a lot last year with some success. When you watch him throw, he comes from the left side. Um, you know, he's right around the plate. Second rounder out of TCU. He's only had three starts this season. He's given up four hits in 10 innings, his last 10 innings, and one earned run in each start. So, they're stretching him out. He's going further in each game. But really, guys, I'm, I'm going after this one. We don't have a number posted yet, but towards the under. And a couple reasons why the Braves are the number one trending team in baseball to the under. 56 and 93, meaning 93 unders, only 56 overs. So if you've been betting Braves unders, you've been making a ton of money. And this is this, the Reds' first game home off of a four-city road trip. You normally don't get that in MLB scheduling. They did have a makeup game in there off of the three-city road trip. And interestingly enough, it was a one-game makeup in Atlanta. Oh, by the way, that game finished one to nothing. I'm getting at I like the under in this game. And I know the Braves have been good against lefties, but I think Williamson can, can kind of uh, quiet that. And the Reds' bats, they've been quite quiet. So the Braves bullpen, you know, you're looking for positives with them. It has been good. So I think we get a kind of run suppression here, guys. Let's go Braves and Reds under the number. We'll go uh, off of the under on the opener there in the Queen City. We got 645 Eastern for the next one. St. Louis Cardinals, Pittsburgh Pirates, NL Central battle here. Lance Lynn on the hill for the Redbirds. Brady Falter, the lefty going for the Pirates. Total of eight minus 132. That's the Cardinals as the home favorite. They're one game under 500 going into game one. This is game two. I'm talking heading into the overnight games. They did win Lance Lynn's last start. It was his first start back off the IL. The 37-year-old out of Ole Miss. Um, five innings, five hits, one earn, seven strikeouts against the Reds. And Falter, yes, he did go seven innings, zero earned against the Marlins, only giving up two hits, but that's the fish. I don't want to give him too much credit there. His last time versus the Cardinals lineup earlier this season, he only lasted four innings, giving up three earned. And his last two starts were against the Nationals and what we just talked about, the Marlins. So he's taking a step up in class here. I think the Cardinals bats get after him and 
Lance Lynn. I think he continues kind of uh, where he started back from the IL. His last start being very good. Huge bullpen edge. We've talked about it a couple times, actually just on yesterday's show with Paul Skeen starting. This Pirates bullpen has not been good at all. One of the worst bullpens in baseball. So late inning edge here towards St. Louis. It's the Cardinals. 32 cents being a short number, in my opinion. 650 Eastern for our next one. So uh, we've got four games here before 7 p.m. Eastern. AL East battle between the Boston Red Sox and the Tampa Bay Rays. Shane Baz going for the Rays. Nick Pavetta for the Red Sox. Red Sox minus 110 short road favorites. Total of eight in the trop. Nick Pavetta on the hill here for the for the Red Sox. Back-to-back six inning, one earned run starts. He's only given up two earned runs and eight to zero last time. Eight to zero, excuse me, strikeout to walk ratio. Last time he faced the 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 Rays. So past performance against the the in division lineup, he was very good. His last time seeing this Rays lineup in Baz going for the Rays. He got a late start to the season just off the IL, but what he's had 11 starts on the year, 3.2 ERA. He's also got a 1.8 ERA, only giving up 10 hits in his last 24 innings. That's over four starts. He's been absolutely money. He's riding a hot right hand here, and that includes lineups at Philadelphia, at Baltimore, and the San Diego Padres. So he's faced some of the better lineups in Major League Baseball, and he's still been really good. I think he's going to have a great start. Add on the fact it's the Rays' first home game off of a 10-game three-city road trip. I think their bats are going to be quiet. I look towards Boston sidewise, guys, but they are off the series against the Yankees. So I I actually think this spot-wise is bad on both offenses, and I think both starters are going to – going to have solid solid outings here and we get the Rays which if you're, if you're looking for positives you know they were sellers at the deadline their bullpen has still been money it actually ranks number one in MLB over the last five weeks by bullpen whip so we get a pretty you know a sizable total total of eight actually a lot of the eights are getting hit here so it's seven and a half at some shops but as I'm talking there's still two main shops holding up an eight minus 115 on the under that's the Red Sox and the Rays to the under Got one game left, guys. Um, If you're interested in premium picks, today's a good day to check them out. Wagertalk.com, $5 Tuesday. All top plays discounted to just $5. I'm in with one going here on Tuesday. Um, It's a game we did not talk about. So if you're interested in trying it out, today's a great day, $5 Tuesday. Drew Martin, experts page, wagertalk.com. All right, last game on the card. 9.40 9.40 Eastern, 6.40 Pacific, New York Yankees, Seattle Mariners. Brian Wu on the hill for the M's. Luis Gill going for the Bronx Bombers. We are seeing the Yankees minus 115, short road favorites, total of seven. We get Seattle winning three of four at home against Texas. And the Yankees, number one record in the American League, 87-63. and 63. Three games up on the Orioles right now. This is their first game on a road trip. They had an off day yesterday, so I think that helps with travel heading out west. Um, Luis Gill, six and a third innings, zero earned, one hit. Last time he saw this Mariners lineup, that was back in May, but still dominated him there. And his last two starts, 11 innings, just one earned run given up, six hits combined. So he's been hot of late. And he's up against Wu. We actually went against them last week and and definitely shouldn't have. We took the loss in that one. This guy's been money. Kind of learned from the mistakes here, guys. We went six innings, zero earned runs, two hits, seven to zero strikeout to walk ratio. Last time seeing the Yankees, he was great. That was back in May, and that was in Yankee Stadium. Now he gets them at home, pitcher's ballpark, uh, West Coast. I think he's going to have a good start. We talked about Luis Gill and his start against the Mariners. I think he's going to have a good start. We'll listen to these numbers. 27 hits in 50 innings pitched at home this season. Man, that's almost two innings and only giving up one hit. You know, that those are great numbers and only four walks in those 50 innings as well. So for whatever reason, he has pitched well at home. Guys, the Yankees very quietly, six straight unders and nine of their last 10 to the under. Uh, and, and we know this Mariners offense. Yeah, they've been better of late, but against the good pitcher, I think they're going to be quiet. Uh, let's go under late night here, guys. We get the Mariners and the Yankees under seven reduced juice as well. Minus 105 on that. So it's the Yankees Mariners under 
It's the Rays and Red Sox under eight. We get the St. Louis Cardinals minus 132, Cleveland Guardians minus 120. And we also talked about that Braves Reds. We're going under in that matchup as well. Guys, that does it for Drew's Daily Diamond Tuesdays card. We'll be back on Wednesday. Thanks for tuning in. Smash that like button, comment below, cash those tickets. Enjoy your Tuesday.